Information technology in the sugar industry existed in the 1970s. It started as a small unit in the finance department and has now grown into an entire department with more than 30 employees. Hector Isidore, the head of the information systems department, shared with me his knowledge of how information technology evolved in the sugar industry. When we got started in information technology, it goes back to the 70s, right? Um, when we got our system toward the 6, IBM system toward the 6, uh, late 70s, uh, that would have been not been out of in most places in, in Guyana. We had what's called a data processing unit, and they would have collected information sent in by all other means um, on paper and otherwise to the finance department because this was a center within the finance department and their task was to punch that in into the, um, the system 36 that we had for that's the financial data for the company right so that is what it grew from a, a small unit just doing that that aspect of it the information systems department continued to grow servicing more departments throughout Kaisiku. When we got to the 90s that it really expanded because now whilst we were still looking to expand to um, modernize the financial system mainly and with an inventory module added to it, we now took on telecommunication. Right? And so we had to start building some telecommunication skills in-house and then it started to expand outside of, um, of that. As the demand for information technology grew within the sugar industry, in the 90s, the team at the Information Systems Department was challenged to connect all the people within Gaisuku, which spread over a distributed geographical location. The team built the largest private network in Guyana. Because when we were looking to introduce a financial system, an inventory system, we wanted to have it in a central location and have all the estates uh, interconnected to that system. And at that time, uh, no one could provide the inter interconnectivity between the locations that we wanted. And so Gaisuko went ahead and established its own um, telecommunication network spanning from Skeldon right along the coast, we, right through to Iflot on the west coast. Uh, so that was certainly the most advanced uh, system at its time uh, in Guyana. It would have been, given what was happening at the time, cutting edge technology with our um, paper punch, uh, punch card, sorry, based technology, uh, 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 getting all the information it might have taken a little while to get the information into ISD and to get that captured, but the reports were generated electronically, which would have been a big plus for a company Gaisuko trying to do financials manually is a nightmare. In the early 2000s, one of the major accomplishments was developing a weekly payroll application that processed over 17,000 employees. So as we got into the early 2000s, what, one of the things that happened is that the information system came out of finance because we realized now we needed to stop looking as a looking at ourselves as just serving finance and start looking at serving Gaisuko on the whole. So that would have happened in the early 2000s. And then we started to expand into other areas, as I mentioned, agriculture. We start providing small systems for the factory, a uh, weekly payroll system. Uh, that was a massive project because it was, given the complexity of our, our labor agreement, um, especially the GAO agreement and all the conditionalities on the, for, for payment. So that took some years to develop and especially in the department who is now engaging in development, we didn't have any development experiences yet. Um, but we went along there and it was, it's, a successful, it's a success story because now we're still, that is the application that is still being used with some modifications of course. The Gaisiko Information Systems Department continues to provide support for one of the largest network infrastructure in Guyana. With over 1,500 users logging on at any one time, the team continues to lead the way with technology.